Well, hello everyone and welcome to a very quick episode here on the Emma Gardner channel. I just know that uh, it would be a crime not to show this. So I know that a lot of you have been asking me to do some different cross pollinations and um, I'm not much of an experimenter, but last year what happened was as I actually crossed a cayenne, um, or sorry, not a cayenne, a Anaheim chili pepper with a bell pepper. And I, I have a plant here that I've grown from the seeds and I wanted to see what it tasted like. So let me see if I can find a pepper in here to see if I can get one. Oh, here's a small one here. Oh, I don't wanna break it. All right, there we go. There's another one here. They're almost turning. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got two small peppers here. One is just turning, one is actually turned nice and red. Let me come up close and show you what that looks like. So you can see that the difference is the fact that anyone who's ever grown in Anaheim knows that they actually get much longer, much longer and much wider. This is actually more narrow um, and uh, and it's, it's much smaller as well. So um, I'm gonna give it a shot here. I'm gonna taste it right on camera to see what it tastes like. And uh, there's no guarantees. This is like a hybrid. So if I save the seeds from this, um, there, there's a good chance I'll get a few plants that will grow true to this, but um, you know most seeds will revert back to either the Anaheim or the bell pepper. That's kind of the nature of, of working with hybrids. So this is a, considered an F1 hybrid, and um, if I like it, I might uh, might consider growing it again next year. Wow, not was I not what I was expecting. Oh my goodness, that is a pleasant surprise actually. Um, so let me break this down here. Um, oh, it's actually building on itself. Okay. It has a bell pepper crunch to it. It's very, very crispy. It's got a very thick skin. Um, it starts off very sweet. Um, almost, uh, bell pepper, well, it tastes like a bell pepper basically when you first bite into it. But in the back, you definitely get a lot of that, a lot of the Anaheim heat that you get. Um, wow, that's very pleasant. I absolutely like this. Um, I mean, I would consider this something that I could just eat on its own, actually. Um, hmm. Wow, that's really interesting. It didn't keep the shape of either peppers. It kind of went in between. It's small. It's slender. It's sweet and spicy. I really like it. I really, really like it. It's got a really pleasant heat to it. It's not overwhelming. It's kind of settled. It's kind of settled down by that the, the sweetness of the um, the sweetness of it. Hmm. That's really good. So, okay. Well, there you go. I just wanted to show you all kind of some random experiments that I do sometimes on board, um, and uh, the results of it. So, um, I'm definitely going to save seeds from this. There's only a few in here. Um, I'm going to save seeds from this and try to grow it next year, and uh, try to hopefully stabilize us. I think this is actually really delightful. I, I would personally grow this again. Um, and uh, if it happens to revert back to its parent plant, well, I'm just gonna get a bell pepper, which we enjoy. I'm gonna, I'm going to get an Anaheim, which is one of our favorite chili peppers to throw in uh, salsas and chili and stuff. So I won't mind that either. So if I happen to get the cross, it'll only be a bonus. Hmm. Very good, very good. All right, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new and uh, I don't know what you would have learned. <laughs> Crossing is fun. All right, I'll talk to you later. Remember to grow bigger, go home. Bye.